This one is a quick follow-up video on installing a second drive on a T3500 or T5500. Uh, what you do, you power down the system and then you turn it back on. You have to press the key F2 to go into the setup as soon as uh, uh, the system starts. I press it continuously until I hear the beep. See, it's preparing to go into setup. The thing that you have to do is to enable the second drive. It might, it, by default, it's not going to be enabled, so you won't be able to set it up or use it in Windows until you enable it. So you go into where it says Drives, select Drives, go into Drives again. And here you can see SATA 0, SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3, and SATA 4. SATA 0 is, is the primary drive, and SATA 2 is usually the DVD. So what you have to select is SATA 1 to enable the second drive on the system. Press Apply and then just exit and that would save that. When you get back to Windows you should be able to at least have the drive even if it's not initialized you should be able to, uh, to see it.